What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Juventus Let's Play in Football Manager 2023. So, Celtic, yeah. Uh, intro basically sums up the excitement. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not very, not very high. I mean, judging how we've been performing in Europe, yeah, like, you're not going to get excited about it. We know how we've been done. And... With do I need to touch on how I think we've had a great season, uh, like top of league, and still got into to play the next game. But yeah, no team is going to overtake us. It's been such a tra such a strange situation. I'm not going to analyze it too much. I want to get the win here, and then we analyze. Uh, then we analyze to see what the group stage looks like. Uh, but for now, this is a must-win, must-win Champions League game. There's no other way to see it. Uh, Danilo, who's been fairly regular, we're going to have to take him. A few players are going to have to drop out, funnily enough. And we're either like, oh, few players, they're close. Like, look who we're missing. Quadrado, Kostic, Di Maria, Chiesa and Pogba have been since the start of the season. So they come in and they change. They change what we could do. For me, we're sorely missing someone to play on the right. So, like, Kian, like, you know those players in your team, they're okay, but you're not confident in them. That's where I am with Kian. Like, he's one of those types. Like, he's got some nice attributes, but he's one of those where I'm just, yeah, I haven't got the confidence in him, whereas he hasn't even been our worst player. You might say... It's strange, but I feel like I have more confidence in Sheldrop. Maybe because of his age, I expect him to keep improving like he actually is. Uh, so it's an intriguing one for me because Kian, he actually has... A, you, do you ever feel this? Let me know in the comments. You have a player, and even though he might be performing as one of the best in your team, but you're still not... Maybe it's because where we're playing him now. It's not his best role. He can play there, but striker is where he's at. Especially he's uh, str r very strong on his right foot. Left foot's only reasonable when playing that inside forward. It's a mix of that. It definitely is. If I was playing on the left side, I'd be a little bit more... Yeah, I think it's that kind of inside forward story. But I even thought for a second bringing in like a Daniele Rugani, who we haven't... No, we probably won't because we haven't used a lot through the season, so his fitness is not there. But I'm like... Yeah, Benucci, Brown, that Benucci still got it. Uh, he's while he's while he's labelled as an elite centre back when he's elite level still. That's how the game is reading him. I think will be silly to drop uh, that caliber of player, but I think he's pushing on dropping out of that. And Almas, oh look again, one of our best midfielders for the season. We brought him in, McKinney. Just for the fitness, maybe Almas come off the bench. McKinney, yeah, he's been a bit in between as well. Um, finding his best role. He could be one of those types that maybe doesn't have a best role, and that's not always a good thing. Uh, it's good to have versatility, but, yeah, is he just doesn't... Uh, I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't have that role he's a star in, but he's got, like, all these um, what three-star ratings. But, yeah, it's an interesting one. Uh, and when you look at a player, you say they're balanced, but then technically... He's, what's his best attribute? Lo, attribute long throws. That that's a bit different. But you might say he is more physical and mental. Like, so you might say everything balances out with some. He's got some nice fifteens in there as well. So yeah, you just got to think about the balance of his attributes as a whole. Uh, Milik, Milik, Milik. We yeah, definitely select him. Yeah, put him on that. <laughs> just go. Uh, yeah, everyone's, they're injured, like, out, uh, then there's the orange you could select, but you won't play, and those other guys, yeah, just some young guys we promoted, uh, for the league games and all that, uh, Danilo, you probably won't get a go, but I like having as many players on the bench as possible, so it doesn't look like, yeah, uh, we're missing too many from the subs bench, all right, like, I don't know. It's Celtic, again, it's the Ange Postacoglu, very good Australian manager. But even on paper where we're missing a lot of players, I just feel we've got that different class. But again, uh, not to the same level, not to the same level where we might have. But 
I, I think we need to have enough. Like, judging off our form too, it's not like we we haven't been playing bad in, in general. Like at home. Home. We're, we're in Italy. It doesn't matter. It's Champions League. Champions can't... No. Just pretend it's... Oh, there shouldn't be a difference uh, to the league. You see, this is making me quite frustrated because in the league, especially, like, we just... We play amazing football. I just want to see that today. And again, we're home. It, this should, it should be more relevant. It should be more relevant because uh, the team we're playing against is not from Italy. So the home games in the Champions League, we should be performing in at least. Like more so than the league. You would think. You would think the away team... Oh... Like, I'm just searching for a reason that we can't pick up points in the Champions League. So let's make that change today. Vlahovic, Alexandro, Kian surely has to fall our way. Come on. Oh, the turn of the camera. What is it going to bring? What is it going to bring here? Allow it. Come on. Yep. Yep. We know with this re replay, it's been allowed. So that's good. <laughs> See, that was good pressure by Kian. I didn't win the header, but yeah, Vlahovic, great start. Great. That's what we wanted. Yeah. When, oh, I feel like how I feel me. Like I got the, you know, when you got that pressure on your chest, that's it right now. We're building up this game. So important. It is important. Vlahovic, but oof. We've got to this point in the Champions League to a point where we probably shouldn't be. Like, oh, we should be comfortable, but instead, oh, it's going to be these next games. They're really important. Okay, let's just keep it going. Keep it going. Like, even if we've scored early here, there's something I feel like we're missing. It's not. It's not a dominance, but we've we've taken the lead. You get a second, and you feel it a bit more, but. I think it's the recent form. See, back to the point when we were starting the game, it shouldn't be. We shouldn't be saying in Europe, like we're home today. Like, yeah, yeah, this should be. It should be in our favor, right? We're gonna see because Celtic is gonna be on a run right now. They are on a run, and shall drop. Like I said, he's what I'm. Like, I'm. I'm pretty confident in him. Surprisingly, I think I always have confidence in the younger players. That's for sure. Don't mind me while you can hear background noise. <laughs> We're back to those times. All right, let's just continue. All right, shall drop. Long to Kian. Come on, make sure we finish this. We do. Dusan Vlahovic. That's better. Bit of a disrupted play, but it's a goal in the end. So we do not mind at all. We do not mind at all. Benucci, where it started, then Shaldrop, absolutely brilliant. And Kian, like, he's been, we've been actually targeting him uh, pretty well. Uh, well, regardless if it's been well or not, which it has been. But yeah, you can tell uh, we are targeting that side of the pitch. Very, uh, very good today. Yeah, that, that, that was nice. We'll just take a watch of that again. There we go. <laughs> Ken, yeah, see, he got he got away there. He got away while he did stay on side as well. That was quite the perfect play. So it was tight, but, you know, in this case, it did. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, perfect. See, like, where's this been? Where's this been in the Champions League? So, Vlahovic, it's going to be a nice, oof, it's going to be a nice time to make sure we... Oh, that went in, did it? Oh my god, that was close. I love, I love a goal like that. A goal that sends you three nil um, ahead. That's for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, it's rare you see him that that close, but that's cool game. Oh, see, I like the bounce there as well. Uh, that that's a cool like gameplay, gameplay thing. Goal line technology. Uh, something actually uh, funny, like years ago, like well, up to six, seven, eight years ago, uh, my dad would have like his fantasy team names as goal line technology. Then uh, uh, as time would pass, you know, a VAR comes into it. Uh, yeah, uh, something regularly we see now. <laughs> anyway, oh, talk about something regular we see is injuries. 
Uh, Danilo is, well, yeah, it's a good thing we had him on the bench. Kind of had to. I think De Silio would be a bit better on the left side. I, I think they both accomplished enough. But anyway, it's not going to be without its dramas. Uh, we're going to have to wait to see come the end of the game uh, how yeah how bad that injury is. But don't have a good feeling. Oh come on, come on, come on! Like e like we are not in the position that we deserve to be. Like, or, or has our Champions League form been terrible and <laughs> we are where we we are where we deserve to be because we haven't performed. But it's, it's, it's that whole conversation again about um, why has there been such a difference in performances without switching up too much tactically from league uh, to Champions League. As I said today, yeah, you shouldn't really feel that difference when you're playing a home game. So... Uh, we've been excellent in the first half. Let's just keep that going. This is what I would be expecting. Like We're the strongest team in the group. Okay, guys. Come on. Now, let's keep this up. Can we? Well, we're, we're going to find out. That's for sure. Juranovic. Like a... Ooh. I want a result that will be like right now. I would I would describe it as it, uh, and that is where it's surprising, but not surprising. Like surprising off our Champions League form, but going into it, this is what you would expect. This is what you expect. I'll finish it, Vlahovic. Oh hell! Well, he stood in front of the ball. That's how uh, he blocked it, but. It looked like a chance it would have been scored. And that's what I want to talk about a bit. Like, some of the gameplay, there's some really nice animations. People say, oh, FM has bad gameplay because it's not graphically, it doesn't look like FIFA. But, like, there's some cool gameplay animations and which I feel th that's important. FM doesn't need to be feature, uh, doesn't need to be graphic heavy. Uh, I don't want to go too deep on that conversation. Uh, too deep. No. Uh, Almas, who might, again, we've got players. Oh, no. Yeah, Samuel Illing. Might as well bring him on. What we could do here is, even though oh, he's more stronger than that side, it's an inter interesting one. We'll switch with Key in there. Just, I'm thinking more of the role uh, for their preferred foot. But anyway. Uh, that's what we will do. And Locatelli on a yellow. Don't know how important it's going to be. Ooh, Moretti. Let's bring on Moretti. He's... Um, Paradise, we can play DM. Paradise, we can play DM. Uh, I feel we'll get him in a... Uh, what are we going to do? A ball winning. Ball winning mid, but on support. We'll roll with that. And for another change, Dusan, he's on a hat-trick. I'm not trusting injuries. I don't care about on a hat-trick, mate. <sighs> to be honest, I feel back in the day, like years back, players will get like really mad when you sub them on a hat-trick. I feel like, it, it, sure, it may happen still, but it's not as not as often. It definitely doesn't happen as often. So uh, we'll, we'll be happy with those changes for now. But yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. This is what, yeah, like I said, no surprise. Oh, uh, Italy, look at him. Look at him go. That's neat. Okay. It still was, but it would be nice to see that just go into the back of the net. Uh, nice performance today. Nice performance. <laughs> I'm just oh, so relieved. Like, I, I, as much as our chances, I look at them, they haven't got a goal or a shot on target. It makes it hard to get a goal if you don't have a shot on target. Uh, who, who else is on a bit of the younger side? Nicolo. Nicolo, yeah. Uh, McKinney. McKinney, Parrot, like... <laughs> uh, McKinney needs more sharpness. We'll take off Paradis. Uh, how does Nicolo look defensively? Like, he's natural as a DM, so I might, we might just place him in there. You know, because I can, so <laughs> uh, we'll just do that. Yeah, we've got the game in our hands now, so we're not going to worry too much. Uh, we'd love to keep a clean sheet. Goal difference, will it be important? Uh, probably not important. Let's see. Let's just go out. Oh, my God. Poor pass. Oh, like, feels so slow. And it, it did not look like he wanted to score. Like, 
He didn't look like he wanted to score that. He just chipped it up for the keeper. It went nowhere near going over his head. The goalkeeper wasn't in a position to be lobbed. But anyway, 4-0. We hold on to that lead very well. How often does this happen? Like, you do all your damage in the first half and you just sit back like in the second. In FM, I feel that's so prevalent. Like, that happens so often. We're not going to complain. We would have loved to go on scored some more. But, uh, yeah, we're going to take it and move on. And we're like, okay... That we haven't moved off the bottom, but at least we edge closer to Celtic, and that's going to be the problem. That's we're going to have to rely on results. I'd hate to show like the last three games. If at the second half of the group stage we play amazing and we miss out, like say we win the next two, we get nine points. From now, Leverkusen haven't even played their. Next game. So, are we hoping for a draw? I'm not. I'm just going to see what happens, to be honest. And Sandra, two to five weeks. Oh, well, two to three when you give him to the physio. <laughs> give him to the physio. Just drop him off. Uh, but, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it as it comes. And it is Leverkusen who we were... Well, well, Ajax hadn't played yet as well, but they were closer to us. So, what... what ugh, I hate how good we look today. Because, again, it's back on that same conversation. So we've got Ajax and Leverkusen. So in a way, Ajax being top, we can beat them. Mm, but Leverkusen, oh, my God. Like, it's it's possible, right? But we got to rely on other teams. Get your calculators out and oh, it's, it's going to be more close than it should have been. I'm really disappointed. Like, we can finish on nine points. Uh, we have to win the next two, and one at Ajax at home, Leverkusen away. Like that's going to be a fairly, fairly tricky one. Uh, we beat Ajax, we get on six points, and they stay on seven. It, it, it really will depend. It really will depend on other results too. But the other, t- yeah, all other teams are close. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard. Maybe you guys let us know. Uh, let me know in the comments. How do you rate our chances? If we play, see, if we play more like that, I think we definitely win the next game against Ajax. So, two home games, um, yeah, would have been the two. Uh, will be the two recent Champions League games uh, after we play Ajax, and I just feel, yeah, we should win that. It might go down to the final day. Uh, disappointing that it's gone. Uh, it, yeah, it's put us in as this position, or it's yet. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's going to take that. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> We had a great performance today. It's just showing you, uh, yeah, where's that been? Uh, At least we're asking where that's been in Europe. Uh, But as I've been saying, this you don't really treat it in Europe. It's I guess it comes with the pressure of Champions League. But at home, um, yeah, that's what you should really be seeing more of. So we're going to leave it there. Let me know what you thought of that performance. Again, it's just begging the questions. Uh, yeah, yeah, asking where that's been. So I'm going to leave it there for now. And like I said, Moise Kean, he's actually got a highest average rating. And I've been, ju- like I'm saying, oh, I'm not confident in him. But again, maybe it's more so for not playing him in, in, in the best role. But uh, he can still uh, play pretty accomplished on the wing as an inside forward. I just need to be more confident in him, I guess, uh, as I pose that as a question, if you ever feel that, even if a player is performing well for you. Uh, might be other reasons or there's just attributes you wish were better. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the very next episode.